Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Beatrice and if you're not new here, welcome back. So, you guys have seen the title. I want to review the movie Living in Bondage. So, I really, really loved this movie. It's a Nigerian movie. It's a Nollywood movie. And the protagonist of this movie, I want to say it's uh, Ramsey Noah so bad, but actually he's the antagonist. And the protagonist is, what's his name? I just know his name is something something okay. okay. I forgot his, the name of the, um, <coughs> of the, um, protagonist <laughs> but Sha you know that his name is something something okay, okay. I loved the movie basically it's a remake of a old Nollywood movie it's a Igbo movie to begin with so I wanted to go and see the original movie then they started speaking in Igbo then I exited the movie because me I'm not a Igbo girl so I don't understand Igbo you get so I don't want to give any spoilers because I really want you guys to watch the movie the movie is so nice the production is so nice cinematography is so nice storyline make perfect sense you know what i'm saying and i just love how i don't want to give too much but i just there's this particular scene i'm not even into evil stuff oh, but there's this particular scene where okay so you basically they are cultists you get there they are caught they are cultists in this movie and stuff and basically it's about you know this boy wanted to get rich because um basically he wants to prosper in life you know but he's not patient he's impatient he's bang you know he's not he's not patient child so um, he meets this guy called richard you know the ceo of the company is going to work for and um, richard shows him the way shows him the way way to his success shows him the way but there's a price you have to pay but he was underestimating the price he have to pay you get um his dad is a priest in this movie but long before his dad was also what a cultist so apparently it's in the it's genetic it's in the blood you know to bear it's in the blood is hereditary to not be patient in his family we get to find that out in the movie what i want to say is i liked how the you know the cultist scene the scene where they will sacrifice somebody it was not predictable i thought it was going to be one of those nollywood thing where you already know what the theme colors are going to be is either black red or white first of all it was all black i was surprised by that and then i see baphomet in the middle of some of some um star thing so it's like wow i'm so proud they did not come and use shongo or you know those um herbalist you know kind of stuff like babala type of stuff they didn't use that and i like that because of we tend to demonize our own culture and use it for like you know try to represent evil stuff and stuff like that and i hate that so this time they used western stuff demonize that i'm not saying that i'm racist though but they shall demonize it because of they use it for evil in this movie so i was like mm. That was a good initiative from the director. Yes, yeah, stop demonizing our culture, okay? Some people are Christian in Nigeria, some people are Muslim, and some people they believe in Shogo and the rest of the gods, then you know. So we don't need to demonize their religion. There's no need for that. It's like you coming to demonize Jesus and you're a Christian, it's not fair. Like me, I'm a Christian and I will not like it if somebody come and demonize, you know, Jesus. So they I shall love that. And then inside the this scene we see different ethnicities i was like wow you get to see that not only black people are evil you know what i'm saying like it's really evil don't get nationality evil don't evil there's not a particular face for evil you know what i'm saying they're not the right hand for face so they were like asian people they were indian people they were white people in the scene black people you know like everybody everybody was there in that scene so i was like yeah 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 evil is not only black so that's why i love that scene so much and oh i don't want to spoil you guys but i have so much to say i just i'm so i'm so upset with the protagonist of the movie you know why because of some people they like to select what they want to believe or not you know what i'm saying because of this at some point in the movie <clears throat> 
his dad his dad come to see him by, by the way he never met his dad before his dad come to see him and try to warn him for what's going to come so first, first of all he does not believe that the guy is his dad you know what i'm saying actually okay okay but wait he didn't believe that was his dad but his dad told him that your boss is evil your boss is a cultist your boss does money ritual okay he didn't believe it i will not tell you guys if he joined you know the um actually let me stop let me stop let me just tell you guys yes yes he he joined the cultist whatever you know he joined the cult he gets he joined the cult and he gets to find out that his boss is a cultist his boss is a wish his was his boss is a wizard but still does not believe that his dad is a dad he don't believe that his dad is his father i don't get that was no logic to me because i'm like okay you see that this man was right about your boss being a demon but you don't believe him being your father well how does that make sense two plus two is not making four in this situation so i was like okay come off it don't be stupid on purpose it's not cute you know what i'm saying it's not cute stop it another thing that pissed me off is the girl oh his girlfriend hey first of all i just want to say her taste is evil yes because apparently she has been around with one or two of his colleagues and i'm like girl what is wrong with you do you is it that you have taste for people that that they are in cults or what is the problem what's the issue you know when he said when he said that she was with his friend before it just threw me off i was like oh so it's the habit of yours you just like guys now you know i mean she didn't know that he was a cultist but like you get she's attracting the same energy over and over again one or two times it's like girl relax you know what i'm saying you guys shall watch the movie ramsey noah huh the role of bad guy fit him die like it's like you should be acting the bad guy in every movie and i watch it because of when he was playing the demon i was like give them <laughs> Give the, you know, and there's a scene where the protagonist gets to the house of um, uh, Ramsey Noah. Ramsey Noah playing, you know, the bad guy. He's uh, the CEO of his country, uh, of his company. He's his boss. So he comes to see his boss to talk about something that he does not want to do. And Ramsey Noah was like, You think it's a joke? You think it's a game? So we that we have done our own part we are stupid you want to come and shop for free and just go scot free no it's not going to be possible so the guy vex and call him a demon then he show him he show him that he's really a demon they'll come on has anybody compelled you to kneel down without touching you god will never let us see God never let us see that in Jesus' name, Amen. But anyway, I just love love the movie. So basically, you guys can see that I love the movie. You should watch the movie. Who else was in this movie? You can't make a movie about money ritual and not have. I'll put his uh, picture beside and not have this guy in the. Are you mad? No, he has to be in the movie. Anytime this guy is in the movie, just know that the movie is about money ritual. Yes, he's one of the pioneers of much money ritualism in Hollywood. Yes, he's not a money ritualist in real life. I'm just saying, like, he's always in those kind of movies. So it's like, it makes so much sense that this guy is in the movie. They just got everything right. Last but not least, the soundtrack. Are you mad? Are you mad? Oh my God. They put Fino, Fino, Fino. Ah. It's just that there's one scene all of a sudden I'm hearing. You know they see me go small. Ah. It's like these people they are mad. Who selected the soundtrack of this movie? Because let me tell you, a movie can be good, okay, but if the soundtrack is trash, it can never ever. Bang. you know the movie can never do like you'll be like yes that is a great movie no if the soundtrack is like man can't feel it too much can't feel it mm -mm. i didn't 
I don't like movies that don't have good soundtrack. So the soundtrack of this movie really made the movie like a one, a one. So yeah, tell me, tell me if you guys have watched this movie, and if you have watched this movie, tell me if you guys liked it or not. Uh, I cannot think of anything bad to say about this movie, honestly. Okay, maybe the special effects at some time in the movie was just Yigi Yaga. You know, there's one there's one part in the movie where they were doing their ritual or whatever, and then there's just a random smoke that comes and they're like, what is this smoke doing here? Like, it's not, it's not correlating. I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, that is really the only thing I can say about the movie that I did not like. So, that's it for my video. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.